everyone, today's video is going to be every single product I have pan on. So I try to do these every single um, season, that's the word I was looking for. So today is the first day of spring for 2019, so I wanted to do it today. I did one for fall of 2018, and then winter of 2018, I was out of town, so I didn't do one. So this is actually uh, the progress I've made in like six months. I have a whole playlist if you're interested, and you can see that below. And I think it's fun to do these because you can see new items I've hit pan on, so you can see that I really am making progress in my extensive collection. But also there are some items that I had in the last one that are not present today because I actually completely used them up. So that's exciting as well. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start with eyeshadow because eyeshadow is my favorite, if you didn't know. So I have two of the Maybelline color tattoos. This one's inked and pinked and this one is uh, bold gold. I do have pan in both of these. You can see right there at the bottom. I was supposed to use one of these today. Totally forgot. Just use a regular um, eye primer that I am panning. I do really like cream shadows. They're my favorite. Big fan. Um, so yeah, I have these two. They're pretty dry. I don't know. Like if we're being honest, I maybe should get rid of them. But I have pan on both of them and I'm happy with that. And then I also have pan on one single. Just one single. Yeah. And that is the ColourPop in Slave to Pink. Now, this is a beautiful shade. Absolutely love it. It will stain the junk out of your eyelids. So if you like are going out one night and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna put this on, and the next day you have like a very somber thing and you don't wanna have bright pink eyes, maybe not, but it's beautiful and I love it. And I think it's just like a really cool color. Um, so I'm a big fan of that one. And obviously there's Pan. Then we're gonna go into something that you've seen many times. My Pan Matte Palette for 2018, a little bit of 2019. I am no longer working on this, but I do have 15 products with Pan. I don't, I, this one's completely used up, but everything else is still in there. There's just a smidgen left. So today on my lids, I actually have um, the shade Inner Beauty is my transition. Then I have Look Beyond uh, as like my crease shade. And then on my lids is Timekeeper and my liner is swept up. So I did use quite a few from this palette. Oh, and my inner corner is Dream It. So I used a lot out of this palette. Um, you know, that's kind of how it's gonna be going. I'm just gonna use a bit and um, we'll just see how long it takes to actually finish this up. But they're all, they all have pan on them. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, there we go. Now for the next one is the Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette. This came out a few years ago. It's a Disney makeup item. You know I love me some Disney makeup. And the shade is uh, Mad Hatter, I believe. Yeah, or just Hatter. That's the green that's on my lids. It's a beautiful shade, very pigmented, very nice. The rest of the palette looks relatively new, unfortunately. But Hatter has some pan. I do like that palette. It's really pretty. Um, it's a unique assortment of shades, I feel like. So I do think it's really fun to play with. Then I have this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Maya Mia palette. This is currently in a project pan. It's in my um, entire makeup collection rolling project pan, this shade Deep Brown. Y'all can see there is a lot of pan on here. Um, I use this as in my eyebrows almost every day. Not today because of my weekly product pan, but I do use this a lot. I really like it. I think it's a good one. Um, it just like is keep on trekking and keep on trekking. I, I feel like I should have used that up forever ago, especially because these, um, oh, you can tell this is an old guy because it's all here, 0 0.72 grams per um, pan, so that's like half the size of a typical like MAC shadow that's 1.5 grams, so it, you sh you'd think I just like went right through it, but nope, I'm not, so there you go. Then this is currently in my Disney Project pan, the Urban Decay Ammo Palette, and I have some pretty nice pan on this shade Shattered right here. This is a really cool shade. It's one of my favorites, honestly. And like I said, I've got some good pan on there. Um, this is a very powdery shadow, so I do find that it's pretty easy to hit pan. And I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get through it um, pretty quickly. But y'all know how slow I use up eyeshadow. Slow as Christmas. So maybe not, but that's the goal. Um, but yeah, Shattered. And then the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. I have pan on the shade Flame. I love this shade. This palette gets brought in to like every other weekly product pan randomly. 
Um, but I do, I feel like this palette looks like it's got a little bit of use on it. Again, a lot of my palettes look a lot newer than they are and I don't like that. That's one of the reasons why I'm on a no buy. One of the reasons why I am project panning just so I can get some more use and love out of my makeup collection instead of always trying to buy more. Um, one of the reasons, you know, and money. Money is always a thing, unfortunately. I wish it wasn't. Um, but yeah, this shade Flame has some nice pan on it. Then I have the Balm Balm Jovi Rockstar palette. And I have pan on the shade Adagio. A little bit of pan. This is a super powdery palette. I feel like um, I could use up some of these shades really quickly. But again, in order to do that, you actually have to use them. And it's not something I do that often, if we're being honest, which is shameful, but true. And then my beloved Kat Von D Me Vita Loca Remix palette. Don't love Kat Von D. Um, no longer purchasing from her, but this palette, I just can't knock it. And the shade Skulls right here, you can see. I know with the glare, it's hard because it is a white shade. But there you go. I do have um, some pan on that guy as well. So, pan, 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 pan. Always good. So, that's a lot of eyeshadows with pan on them. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, again, it just makes my collection look a little more used and loved. And it not just look used and loved, but it actually is used and loved, which is good. Um, then we'll go to base products. I do have two with Pam. I have this green concealer by Physicians Formula. I, this is currently in a Project Pan as well, my Disney one. And you can see, um, I'm just digging it out. This entire corner is empty. I use this every day for my red spots, but I only use it on my red spots, so I don't use a ton of it. But I really like it. I think it's great. This is really dry. Don't love it. Don't really use that. But this green is excellent. Then I have my Snow White Besame Powder. Love this. Also currently in my Disney Project Pan. This is a lot of pan. I do not foresee this being in the next uh, products I hit pan on update. That's the goal. Um, I have this on today. I try to use a lot of these products, especially ones that aren't currently in Project Pans. Because if we're being honest, sometimes this is the only time I use it. I know that's bad, but it's just the truth. So, um... I do have this on today. I do like it a lot. I think it's a good powder. Then we have cheek products. So I've got two cream products. Both are currently being panned, and I have them both on. Um, this is the Galactic Beauty Cheek Shine in Star Silver. It's a really nice cream highlight. You can see that I've got a lot of pan, and I also feel like the surrounding pan is relatively thin. They're still, you know, it's a little bit thicker on the sides, thinner in the middle like most products. But I do feel like I'm getting a lot of use out of it, which is really good. Obviously, that's the goal. Um, so I like that a lot. I think it's pretty. And then I have this Besame Snow White Cream Blush that I'm also project painting right now and is on my face. So you can see I do have some good pan. Unlike the um, Girlactic, I do, you can see there's a divot. But all around the side, it's really thick. I think I'm probably going to be working on this cream blush for about a thousand years, approximately speaking. Um, so yeah, it's going to last me a long time, but I do like it, and it blends really nicely. So for the rest of my powder cheek products, I've actually got three bronzers, or at least how I use them. I use them as bronzers. I have, this is the one I have on today. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in the shade 102 Tantric. I have some nice pan on. I have, again, I have it on today. This is a lot redder than a lot of bronzers I like. And um, I don't know, it's kind of patchy. I don't love it, if we're being honest. But I have pan on it, and I am getting some use out of it, which is a good thing. I got that as like a free sample. Um, then I have this Sorme bronzer as well. The packaging is broken, but you can see I've got some nice pan on this duo. Well, not on the blush, just on the bronzer. And this um, entire pan as well is pretty thin so it's one of those that like every time you use it you get a little more pan and a little more pan as opposed to some things like that that besame blush where every time you use it it just you're just not really seeing a lot of visible progress and then I also have this shade from the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean palette some people use it as a blush I use it as a bronzer slash contour and I really like it that way it's the shade Lost Soul um and you can see that I do have some pretty nice pan on that as well um, which is great, you know. I feel like I'm being redundant, but I like to see pan on my collection. Then for blush, I only have one blush with pan in it, so it is the blush I have on today. This is in my entire makeup collection, Rolling Project Pan. It's the Polish Choice Blush It On Contour Palette. This is the shade Soft Mauve 
Yeah, and that's true. And I finally hit pan on it. Um, I'm going to be honest. I've used this blush pretty much every day for a year. And there's only three grams of blush in it. And it's just not really going anywhere. Finally hit pan. So that's good. That's definitely progress. But it is frustrating. It's all get out. To keep using something and feel like it's just not moving. All right. Then I've got three highlighters. Um, they're kind of cheater highlighters, but I'm going to include them all because that's what I like to do. So first is the ColourPop highlighter in the shade Hippo. You can see I've got pan. It's kind of weird pan because it's weird to apply this. I don't like to use my fingers. I use a brush, but it'll kind of take up chunks of it. And that's kind of how I've hit pan, if we're being honest. But I do love this highlighter. I get lots of compliments when I wear it. It's just a nice kind of pinky purple highlighter. Really pretty, and this is called Hippo, and I have a dog named Hippo, if you don't know. Well, his name is Hippocampus, but he goes by Hippo. Hey, Kanga. Okay, she's breathing. Sometimes Kanga looks dead, and it scares the crap out of me. Um, she's not dead right now, though. Hopefully never. I'm pretty sure she's immortal. She is ten and a half, so I get worried. Um, but next, is, we have my MAC Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Compact. I am panning this right now. But it does have some pan, as you can see, like right there. But this is only pan because it's broken. So it's kind of cheating, but I still count it. Um, it's not very well in the pan. If I didn't love it so much, I'd probably be really tempted to just throw it away. This is one of my favorite highlighters. I think it's so beautiful. It broke on its own really quickly, which was really disappointing. But I do love it a lot. And then, last but not least, I have the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter, which is the highlighter I have on today. Um, this one also just broke in its pan, just kind of shattered. But there's actually still quite a bit left around the sides, so I did choose to keep it. Um, it's a very gold highlighter. It's a lot more shiny or, like, loud than what I usually choose to use, but I do like it a lot, and it's really pretty. So... There we go. Those are every. Those are all the products that I've hit pan on. Um, you know, we're seeing some use out of my collection, which is good. It's always the goal. So hopefully next time I do this, um, I'll be gone for the summer because, you know, I know I say it every time, but I don't know who watches what videos. But I'll be gone all summer. I'll be up in northern Michigan in my field season, so I won't be filming or wearing makeup or anything. Um, so the next time I'll be doing it will be fall. But hopefully by fall, some of these items will be completely used up um, and so they won't be featured or other ones um, and there'll be new items in here. So that's the goal always. So we'll just see what happens. But I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.